So, Elijah come and die. How many people know about that? <laughs> do you know who he? Do you know who he was? No. Oh, do you know? You don't know. Who know? You know, Joe? Uh, a little. And who was Elijah Cummins? I just know he had that video that we always play. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know it, much about him. Though. Mary, you know anything about him? Uh, yes. You're from the old school with me. Where, who was Elijah Cummins? Well, he, he walked in the march um, with Martin Luther King or something. And then he became a congressman person, very corrupt, from Baltimore. He was on the oversight committee and he hated our great president. And he black. And he black. <laughs> 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 How did you feel when you heard that he had died? Well, he got what he deserved. I mean, you know, it's like he got what he deserved. What do you mean? Everybody's gonna die, so he died, and he, everybody gonna die. Particularly, are you gonna we die? All feel that we are in that path. Uh, but um, he 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 was so so awful, and he really just he couldn't get any worse. But you're talking bad about the dead. I'm not talking bad about the dead. You dead is dead. Lie. Let's put the let's put it this way. Dead is dead. I rest my case, okay? <laughs> uh so Elijah Cummins died, right? And he was a congressman from Baltimore with the worst neighborhood other than the Wicked Witch of the West, by Sea Waters. He uh he was a liberal, supposed to be a civil rights leader, but he wasn't. And so when he died, I was surprised he died, though, because he and Trump were just fighting. And it didn't look like he was going to die. So I woke up the next morning, I read that he had died. And I'm thinking, what? He dead? I'm like, he dead. And I'm trying to figure out which one is this. I'm thinking he's someone else, right? And so I figured out he was Cummins. And I'm listening to all these nice things. Even the president sent out a condolence or something like that, right? What did the president say? He sent out a nice tweet and um, said something along those lines. Some of it wasn't true, I don't think. No. But, yeah, it was very nice. And so on my show the next morning, I'm like, let me be honest. This man was a nasty, evil, dirty man. He was not what they were telling you about it. And his neighborhood, he's been over that neighborhood for years. And it's just worse. And it, been, it was just recently pointed out how bad it is, right? And that he's, he uh, hate the president. He was for controlling the people. He pretended to be a civil rights leader when he never lived on the plantation or anything. I don't even think he even lived in the South. But all of a sudden, he is a civil rights leader. And so I'm thinking, this man was no good. He's not what they're pretending he is. And it's just another example of when someone die, everybody, not everybody, most of you feel like you got to lie about the person when they die. And they're like, oh, be kind to the dead. I'm like, uh-uh. Satan's son is dead. He dead. <laughs> and, and it's okay to tell the truth about that. Why lie just because someone de uh, died? You know what I'm saying? I remember when in that movie, The Yellow Brick Road, when the wicked witch of the witch died, they were like celebrating. The witch is dead, the witch is dead. Remember that? <laughs> and so when Cummins died, I'm like, the witch is dead. <laughs> and because what it does, it gives a false sense. And the young people hearing this stuff, uh, they're not going to see the right way to deal with life. I remember somebody died in the Bible, and, uh, and they wanted their family and somebody wanted Christ to come back and help with the funeral or something like that. You remember that? And Christ said, I ain't going back there. Let the dead bury the dead. Who remember that? Is that in the Bible? Oh, yeah. Is that in the Bible? Uh, Let the dead bury the dead? Yeah, that's in the Bible. Do Definitely. you know what that meant? Uh, they're not alive, so... 
you know, they can't do anything so who anymore. Are the, who are the dead that's going to bury the dead? Who are the dead that's going well, to bury said, the dead? he said, let the dead bury the dead. What does that mean? Continue on with God's will in, in your life and don't look in the past anymore? Or? I'm not no, quite sure. Man. Yeah. Let me ask this, Yolanda. You know, you heard that. You read that in the Bible, right? Yeah. And what does it mean? Um, what I understood in, in that context when it was being spoken was um, whoever wasn't going to follow him was going to go back. Like, they were already dead and they weren't going to follow him. So let them stay behind and bury the dead. Because he had questioned, like, oh, shouldn't I go back and bury the dead? And he's like, you're going to choose them over me. Like, so Very that's what I understood. And just to add to that, you gotta, when you wake up, you're going to see that the world is dead. Their eyes are opening, they're functioning, look like, but really they are dead. Satan is their daddy, and they are dead. They can't see what they're doing. They have no love. They are bite biting each other. And trying to, it's just a war they're in the world. And you're going to be in it, but not of it when you wake up. And you're going to notice that all kind of wicked things are happening because these people are dead. And so Christ was saying, let the world bury their own. They are dead anyway. Their eyes are open, but they're dead. And so, but for the children of God, you're going to wake up. And when you wake up, it's going to be different. You're not of the dead. When you're asleep, you're dead. You can't really see what's going on. And a perfect example of that, I was talking to this young man. He didn't really see all this stuff that was really going on. Now he's waking up, he'll start to see it. When you're not awake, you're dead. You're dying. And if you notice, everything you do leads to your destruction. You make the wrong decisions. You, you waste your money, you pay high taxes, you let other people control you. You're not in control of anything. You're scared, you have fear, you doubt, you worry, you're dead. When you awake, you don't have any of those issues. So when Christ said, let the dead bury the dead, let the children of Satan bury the children of Satan. That's what he meant about that. And you'll see it more as you wake up. We're not supposed to be crying over Elijah coming. And we're not supposed to pretend he was a good man. Let them pretend if they want. But when they do, they say, uh-uh, that's a lie. The man, get, uh, he was over that district for years. And all he did, and then so, all he did was for himself, for the most part. And then now his wife is under suspicion for being a crook. I don't know how to do it, but it's been reported that she's no good. Why would we pretend Satan's children are good? It's like not facing reality. You got to face reality. When I wrote down all these different foods that I was eating, didn't know I was eating crazy like, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not going to tell him. I'm not going to let him see this. But I have to because now I can see it. And I want it to change. Yes, Mary. Uh, you did hear that uh, Elijah Cummins, no good wife, is going to run for his seat. I would be surprised. <laughs> I would not be surprised. But you're going to be in the world and not of it. It's going to be so amazing. All right. Any other questions about anything or any comments or anything? I yeah. tweet if you want. Okay. Let me hear it. Trump tweeted, my warmest condolences to the family and many friends of Congressman Elijah Cummings. I got to see firsthand the strength, passion, and wisdom of this highly respected political leader. His work and voice on so many fronts will be very hard, if not impossible, to replace. Amazing. It should have been totally, the wicked witch is dead. The witch is dead. Now I don't have to fight with him to do right. I wonder who will take his place. Tell the truth. And it, you've been so accustomed to lying and pretending, it almost seemed hard to tell the truth about that. Now that he's dead. It, in that father state, it feels like you're being wrong. Like you need to have a certain respect for the dead. That's not true. It's really not true. Christ didn't even go back to do the funeral. He's like, no, I got to go. I got some work to do. We got to stop being, and you will, you will naturally stop. Don't worry, all right? You can't change yourself. As you're waking up, you're changing. You're becoming sons and daughters of God, and you will not think like the world. All right? Don't worry. It will happen. 